What's up everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be checking out a super affordable case I found on Amazon for the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Let's check it out. All right, so you guys have seen me unbox some pretty expensive cases here, everything from $20 up to like $120, and I wanted to do something different. So I went on Amazon and found the cheapest case that I felt would actually show up at my door, meaning Amazon Prime, and the thing was $3.99 delivered, and I got it in one day. Pretty cool. Now, uh, I don't expect anything too crazy from this thing, but I can totally understand someone's point of view if you just spent $1,300 on an iPhone, you know, plunking down another $50 on a case might not be your deal. So I want to check out and see if a $4 case can hang with some of the bigger boys. So break into it, nothing crazy with the packaging. It is a TPU case and I got the clear one. So when you take it out, pretty decent impressions um, for $4, you know, they protect it so it doesn't show up too bad. Right away, I do like that it's very flexible. It has a good feel. The inside has like, wow, it's weird. It has like, it almost feels like a cat's tongue, which is a really weird thing. I don't have a cat, but it's the first thing it reminded me of. It grips a lot. The outside is not like that. It's very smooth. Um, I wonder if that's just from the dye this thing was made in originally. Just maybe, maybe had a texture to it, but um, it's very, very thin. Um, it feels very flexible, but it does feel like it would it would suck up some impact. So I'm kind of impressed. The corners have a little extra protection. Obviously, those are your weak points. If you drop a phone and you land in a corner, it's going to probably have the most chance of doing damage to your phone. The edges are far squishier than I would have thought, which is pretty awesome. When you're dropping that phone and it lands on the corners, you're going to want this to uh, absorb as much shock as possible. So the case by itself is 28 grams with the iPhone Pro Max, 283 grams. On the sides, not the bumps. You're looking at about 10 millimeters wide. At the corner where the bumps are, you're looking at just over 11 and a half millimeter wide. The total height of the case when laid down is gonna be 12.81 millimeters high. The total width is gonna be about 80, 81 millimeters. One day I'll get a bigger tool to measure the height. So now I can already tell this is gonna go on very easily just because of how flexible the case is. And I'm not a huge fan of clear cases. But um, I did like the idea of showing off the natural colors of the phone. It feels good. It's definitely grippy. All the buttons are clicky. It raises up on the edges, so when you put it down on the table, you won't be touching the face of the phone. It even looks like it has a little cutout for a lanyard there. Hmm, maybe that's where they do the injection molding. But you could probably repurpose that for something if you really wanted a lanyard for your phone. You can get to the rocker very easily, no problem. And it doesn't look so bad. The height of the ring around the optics is not much higher than the actual optics themselves, if at all. Uh, maybe one and a half, maybe two millimeters. It will give you some protection, but it is not going to be anything like an out of box or anything like that. But for $4, what are you expecting? It does feel surprisingly good. And obviously the case allows the phone to show off its natural good looks. So first impressions, I would say for $4, it's way better than I would have expected. The cutouts are great on the bottom. Obviously you'll be able to get a phone jack, a charging cable in there, no problem. Plenty of room for the grills. It's sort of hard to pick up on, but maybe you can see it in the Apple logo. There's like a dot pattern all over the back of the case that I really like. The raised up buttons for your volume, the cutoff of the rocker are fine, and the power button works perfectly. If you're looking for a cheap case to protect your brand new expensive phone, this is definitely an option. I will be doing a follow-up video on this to compare it to some of my more expensive cases after daily driving it for a bit to sort of see how well I like it. This might put some things into perspective. Everyone's used to spending 50, 60, $100 on phone cases. Um, maybe this is a sleeper case for four bucks. 
So stay tuned for the follow-up video on this bad boy. If you're new to the channel, I'd really appreciate that subscription. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers as quick as I can. Every one of you guys count and I really appreciate you. If you liked the video, hit that thumbs up. If not, a thumbs down works as well. And like I said, I appreciate the subscription. Peace.